Hey everyone, we're back here now. We're uh, getting on to some projects here now. So we're finally back to this grapple. Uh, so I got this, I mean, we started this quite a long time ago now. So we gotta get it done this week. Um, but I'm making the grapple, what's helped me up is was uh, making it so it will swivel. So I want it, of course it hinges on this here framework, of course, right? And then uh, I want it so it'll it'll turn hydraulically so what we've come up with i mean there's a few different ways i got to do it but i've decided i'm going to go with a pulley so this here piece of tube in here is going to go in the middle right so that gets me up off top of here so what we got figured out so far i took like a truck bearing i made this washer so then i got this bolt and this pipe here that goes up through it right so this will hold it together in case the bear never did fail or any of that foolishness, right? But I have it. It's pretty tight. Not not zinging tight, but you know what I mean? So if it did get a little bit of play, it's just going to ride on that washer, right? So I've gone to a pulley. I had this pulley. I wanted a bigger one, but I had this one. And I mean, it's like an hour one way. Just go get something different. So I freaked around with this last night and got it all fitted. So we'll have this pulley, the belt, and then have a hydraulic motor here off on the framework. So this is going to bolt to another piece of channel iron and then that tubing that i just showed you that red piece tubing it's going to go up here so that gives me the clearance so it's able to turn this can be turned upside down of course so the motor is on the framework and then uh, that'll get me up above the spot i need to be for the cylinder right for it to grapple so i did at the time when i built this i wasn't planning on having uh, the swivel to it and then i decided well Nice to be able to turn that if I want to tie the bales in or, or whatever, right? So originally this was going to be like this, right? So now I got to build it out, which isn't a huge deal. Um, you know, it's not that much pressure out here anyways, and I'll brace it good anyhow. So so it, it is what it is. But at the time, if I would have known, I would have built this stuff all out here. But everything changes as you get doing stuff, as you know. But uh, it's coming good. Uh, this is the slow part. This is why I've been putting it off. Because, I mean, i got a whole afternoon now freaking around with that, right? And, uh, yeah. So we got the bushings made. i got to weld them bushings all in. The pins here all in. Get that stuff all in, right? So, uh, yeah. We got sparkles out here. Say hi, everybody, sparkles. Those you out here welding. How are you doing? Same idea here. We're gonna. We just got this gusted. We're going to a 30-foot wagon, so we're gonna strap this in across here. We're gonna fill this all in. Turn that down. YouTube gets at you for music. <laughs> Anyways, then we're gonna plate probably four feet of plate on the on the edges. Go we'll reach straight across here. That's a hell of a gap, I know, but they didn't build these square, so now we're kind of square. So. We're just going to fill it in, top and bottom. You have to put something over the top. And then run stringers across that are going to go down to the six wheel wagon, right? So what we're going to do today, she's running beads all along it. And then we're going to hook to it, pull it back. And then I'm going to add six more feet. So we're at 24 right now. And then we'll add six more feet. So I got another section of this. I'm going to cut it right in two notch it all out here so we can slide it all in and uh everything's tickety boo you know so yeah just a matter of burning rods so anyhow that's uh that's kind of where we're at they it's a they didn't build anything straight like it's i mean I don't know. Anyways, this is what it is. Like all we can do is kind of square it up and then lot by eye, right? As long as it looks straight, and fill it all in. But it's a hay wagon, right? So we're not building the Taj Mahal, but uh, not as great as I'd like it to be. But try that's what I figure. So at least then, if I get some half inch plate to run down the sides here, that's going to reinforce it here. Put it down here. Then I may get like a big piece of tubing or something to, like for the center hold the center straight but that should be plenty and then do the same when we add this six foot section on but uh it should be quite a wagon when we're done so the wagon that we lengthened before because i was building like a massive wagon it was gonna be like 40 some feet we're gone to 30 so i gotta go out and cut the wagon and shorten it because it's not even right like it's got a big bow in the pipes 
where it's been sagging. Like just, it's way too long. So, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. So she's running, rod, burning rods and I'm doing a little bit of everything. Got some meat orders. Market's open here a little later today. So we got to do up some orders, get out. And then we're going to go out and get another section for that to the other farm. And then uh, I won't make it today to get the wagon, but hoping I can get this done so I can start welding this whole centerpiece, drilling it. Uh, the other piece of channel irons over there. So I'm going to have to drill holes in that to bolt it. You know, I want to make it so you, I mean, you got to be able to change the belt, right? The barren thing, it should hold fine. That's why we're putting that great big bolt in there. So if it ever did let go, then uh, it can't go anywhere, right? I mean, it only goes here, there, and you think that's off a three quarter ton Dodge truck. So, I mean, the front ends are quite heavy in them anyways. And uh, even if you set a ton pressure on that barren, uh, this, this does it with this and eight bales of hay isn't a ton anyway, so. Anyways, if it doesn't, we'll go something different. I've tried, looked at different things, but I had that, and that was that was a good, actually a good bear, and I changed. So it's like, trig it, we'll try it. You know, if it doesn't, we'll go back to the drawing board. But I think it'll be fine, especially where I made that big washer. So if it did, it's gonna, it can't go anywhere, right? She's just gonna hang there. So that's what uh, that's what we're thinking. I'll put that up through the pipe. Just kind of takes the slack out of it, and then. Uh, Put a tack weld on it or drill it put a cotter pin in or something but anyways that's uh yeah but i did i wanted a bigger pulley but i, I don't think it's going to make any difference and this is sandwiched right into that into the wheel bearing just like it would be if it was on a track so i just building the spacer at a quarter inch plate to put in here to take up the slack so this isn't sitting on that pulley so that's where we're at right now but yeah Fun, fun. Then I'm just making a list of all the steel I got to go to the city and get. Hopefully Friday morning. So we'll stay Thursday. So it'll be Friday. So now we got this pulled out. So now we can get back to this tractor. So Sparkles will work on this. Get this rim all cleaned up. And uh, I got to put a patch on it. Um, you know, where the valve stem was. The rest of it, I mean, just going to be, we got to be cleaned up. It ain't beautiful. There it is there. So we're going to cut this shit all out. Right? Clean this all up. I'll build a patch over this and then I'll weld it inside and drill it for your valve stem. And uh, then we can get it rolling. So get this painted so we can get a tire back on it. And then the ones on the front going to be all done. Just cleaned up and painted. And then uh, we can get it apart and put an engine in it. So then start at it. But working on projects that are, uh, you know, should have been done a long time ago actually. But there's only so much you can do by yourself and so, yeah, so she's getting her practice in. She's she's burning rods. She's doing really good, you know. Just a matter of going right along welding, right? But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's a little bit of an update on this stuff. And then we get this together, kind of, then you'll see a little bit more what I'm trying to do. But the biggest thing is my stacker. I want to be able to move eight bales ahead every time, drop on the on the deck, Lower it, drive in with the tractor, grab eight bales, go in the barn and pile it, and I don't have to handle any bales. Right? So, anyways, that's how it goes. But, all right, talk at you later.